Hi, Sally here, welcoming you to today's tea break lesson. That's our free 15 minute lesson. Some topic from the English language. And today we're talking all about travel. Where do you think this young lady is? What is she looking at? Well, it's quite obvious she's at the airport and she's looking at those huge screens or timetables. She's trying to find out what time her flight is. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. What do you need when you go on holiday? Well, I gathered some pictures together to give you some clues. You need a passport. You probably need a bag to put your things in. What else? What would you take on holiday? Hi, welcome. Can you hear me? Hi, Saba, can you hear me? I can't hear you, but I hope that you can hear me. I can hear you. Hi, I can hear you. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Where do you live? Uh, I live in Madhupaudin, Pakistan. Okay. Asia. Welcome to my class. It's nice to see you. Thank I you. put here, hopefully it's in Urdu that can be understood, just to let you know that we are recording this class and we put it on YouTube if somebody wants to find out what our lessons are like then I put it on YouTube, but you haven't got your video on, so I hope it's okay that I'll be able to share this. Sorry, I can't get you, ma'am. Can you read, please? Can you read what's on the screen? I'll make it a bit bigger. But I just Hello. want to let you know that we are using the videos here for for marketing so we put them on youtube other people okay, can okay. watch it to have the idea of what our lesson is like yes ma'am okay it's okay <laughs> good thanks so today's topic is about traveling where do you think she is She is, repeat please. Yeah, where is she? She's at... Uh, airport. Good, yes. She's at the airport. She's looking at these big timetables to try to find her flight number. What kind of things do we need when we go on holiday? Could you think of some things that we need? Maybe we could say, I need a passport. What else do you need when you go on holiday? Um, I need a camera. Great. Nowadays, many people have a camera in their phone. So I'm not sure, do they take a camera and a phone? Do you have a camera and a phone? Uh, yeah, I have a camera and a phone. Mm -hmm. So maybe we could say, I need my phone. 
What else would we take on holiday? Um, uh, some, um, some books. Oh, that's a great idea. I also like to read books on holiday. If you want to relax, it's a good idea to bring a book to read. And maybe we need a bag to put everything in. What kind yeah, of bag? For sure. <laughs> what kind of bag do you take on holiday? Do you take a big kind of bag? Like, oh, okay. For Is it a big bag? Do you like to pack? everything or do you travel quite light um, quite light mm -hmm. not a big bag well, that's a good way to to say it i like to travel light i don't need a big bag great okay so now we are in the mood for traveling we're going to look at some flight details and get the idea of once we've booked our tickets where do we find all the information so this person is traveling and we can first of all look where are they traveling where is he traveling from let me check please um. yeah so there's there are three different airports here he's going first of all from Montreal and then he's traveling from Montreal to where is he traveling to Frankfurt good so he's traveling from Montreal to Frankfurt and then he's traveling from Frankfurt to where is he traveling Pardon? Can you say it again? He's traveling from Frankfurt to... Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. That's right. And then <laughs> he's got another flight from Munich back to Montreal. So he's got a very complicated journey planned here. But let's have a look at some details. What time is the flight from Montreal to Frankfurt? Time is the flight. Five fifteen, like seventeen fifteen, five fifteen. Yes, good, exactly. So we can say five fifteen p.m. Five fifteen. They quite often give it in twenty-four hour clock, or we could say quarter past five. Um, what's the flight number from? Frankfurt to Amsterdam. Frankfurt to Amsterdam. WK2495. Very good. You're good at this. And finally, now we have to look a bit further down the information here. What's the passenger's name? Who is going to fly? Let me check. 
and John's, John, Mr. Very good. So, Mr. John Jones is the passenger here. We're going to look now at some common phrases you hear at the airport. So, for example, if something or someone is in transit, they are changing from one plane to another. We're going to try to match the words to the phrases, to the meanings here. I don't know, this might be a bit easy for you, but let's see. Think of another way of saying check-in. Which one in list B could also mean check-in? Check-in. Um, Show your ticket and passport at a desk. Really good. Excellent. Well done. So we can match those two together. How yes. about boarding? Boarding, getting on a plane? Yes. So another way of saying, oh, now I have to run a very funny line. Another way of saying boarding is getting on a plane. Yeah, right. Which phrase would mean that your plane is delayed? Um, is late. Mm -hmm. Perfect. How about when you hear last call, what does it mean? Uh, final call. Yes. And proceed to, when they say code passengers, please proceed to gate three. It means... Go. Yes, go to. They use this proceed to. Really good. We'll spend the last few minutes just chatting then. I'd like you to tell me about in your life, if you need to go to the shop, how do you travel there? For example, do you go by bus or do you walk? How do you go to the shop? Um, by car. Okay. Me too, actually. <laughs> um, do you have usual days which you go shopping? Um, weekends. You, you like to go shopping at the weekend? Why is it better to go at the weekend? We don't get to repeat, please. Why are the weekends such a good time to go shopping? Those are easy time saving. Mm -hmm. Good. Do you have a normal or usual time when you like to watch television? Uh, it's between um, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. What kind of television programs do you like to watch? These are always news channels. I see. <laughs> well, you like to be well informed then. Yes, yes, yes. You like to know what's going on. I'm politics. I'm addicted to local politics. That's interesting. And that's on the TV channels. Yes, ma'am. If I want to know about local politics, I have to read it from the paper. Of course, I can hear about national politics on the TV, but... Local politics, we don't get to hear so much about, I think. It's a good way to say it. Uh, which things do you usually carry in your bag? <laughs> Is there anything you, you usually have with you? Perfume. Okay. Uh, 
Anything else? Um, For exam. Sorry? Pen, little diary. A pen, did you say? Yes, a pen. Yeah, that's a good answer. I like to have a pen with me too, but I don't always have one. Do you always carry your phone with you? Uh, yes, I always carry my phone with me. Mm -hmm. Me too. And I suppose I always have my wallet with me as well. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. My last question. Do you have a favourite day of the week? Favourite day of the week? Um, it's Friday, the day before weekend. Yes. That's a good way to say it. You said which day you liked and then why? Um, it's relaxing. The next is weekend. Yeah. Um, You look forward to the weekend. Yeah. Great. Okay. Well, I'm really glad you came. I'm just going to switch off the recording now. Thank you.